Okay, here's a trigonometry revision video on special angles. Won't take us long this one, thankfully. Okay, evaluate sine 180 degrees. Now, I would type that into your calculator and press equals, and you would get zero. But um, if you just have a think about what the sine curve looks like, um, you could quickly think to yourself, okay, sine rule, not sine rule, sine curve looks like this over there and down there and we're thinking about uh, this is being 90 this being 180 this being 270 and this being 360 so you can see that uh, the sine curve hits here where we have a zero value goes up to 1 and down to minus 1 so sometimes I like to just double check what my calculator gives me for these special um, angles we're looking at today, 180 degrees, uh, it's smack bang there. So whether you're thinking about it on your calculator and let it um, do the work for you, or just double checking it on, on uh, your understanding of a sine curve, that would be good. Cos 270, well, type that into your calculator as well and you'll get zero. Quick think about the co cos curve. Cos curve starts there, goes down there, goes up there and finishes about there, if you do it quickly. 90, 180, 270, 360. Cos of 270, 270 on the cos curve is at zero, isn't it? So that's a good double check worth thinking about. And sine x equals 1, okay, so you could go shift sine on your calculator. That might not work that well, but let's have a think about it from the old sine curve that I just did. Think about the sine curve. Beautiful. That's 1 up there, minus 1 down there. Got 90. 180 and we'll forget the rest for now because here this spot here tells me that sine of some angle equals 1 right there and what's that angle I wonder seems to be an angle of 90 degrees so that makes a bit of sense so it's sort of saying sine of what angle equals 1 well on the the only spot on the whole sine curve whereby we got up to a value of 1 is uh, lined up with 90 degrees there. So that helps there as well. Okay, a few quirky little uh, special angles there and, um, and how to think about them. I'd like to encourage you to think about them on the sine curve and the cos curve as well as just trusting your calculator. Thanks for that. Catch you next time.